Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you a beginner tips how to create a reusable uh, template for a query loop in Bricks Builder. Um, if you see my screen, I have a one query loop uh, with a four grid, a uh, four column layout. And let's say I need one more uh, layout like this, but with different query. The fastest way is um, we just copy and paste the element, right? Um, bear with me, my server, my local is um, slow. Yeah, I can, you can see. Um, let's change um, the query setting. I'm gonna order by scanning. okay here yeah this is the fast way but how about um you need to change the f um the style or the content of each item on both of query loop uh, so let's say i'm gonna change this title a uh, font a uh, title color okay in black and yeah you on the second loop you need to change the and the, the color to right here it's um it uh create our, our more work to us since yeah we need to uh, do it multiple times regarding how how much the 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 query loop you, you have yeah let's say if you have four layout like this and you need to change by one by one um, all the styling you need for each loop but i'm gonna use a create a template template to simplify uh, our work so let's create a um, template for this um, loop item let's create new if you're familiar with the Elementor custom skin plugin, I think uh, this is almost the same. So let's say, let's rename it a post variant. I sorry, post grid. I'll post call for. Okay, let's, let's name it like this. And let's choose section and publish. Okay, let's edit with bricks. All right. So what you need to do is um, just copy here. Uh, on the on the element which the query loop enable just copy and paste here okay but disable the query loop uh, choice then let's save it and since we need to add a template, um, just template here and see because we just created the section and uh, the, the template, it's it's it will not show up here. We need to refresh the builder. Okay, so go to template and select 
uh, the template we created uh, before. Okay, and then we, we just need to remove the content of query loop. And then we delete the query loop item on the on the other uh, query loop element and just insert the template and select the post call for okay so what whatever you change on this template and it will change on on all the uh, template that um, on the post call for template. So let's say um, I'm gonna change the the color here by um, let's pick up red. Okay, and let's see on the front end. Okay, cool. <coughs> the downside is um, when you n when you need to uh, style at uh, adjusting or s make some styling on the item. Uh, let's say you wanna say uh, you wanna f um, display for grid since yeah the the the, the display of uh, the template um, page builder is is not really for grid it's only one it's only one item not four yeah it will hard uh, to determine whether is it good or not but um, there is a way. <laughs> It's not really cool, but I think yeah, that's that's this is the 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 way I I only uh, now yeah I I, th I think I should find other way, but what you need to do is um just copy here the block so this is the query loop element and this is the query loop wrapper. We need to copy this and let's say um, let's add let's paste here, paste here, and let's see. Okay, now um, yeah, yeah, I think you need to do to delete the template and then just move the element the element inside the query look here. And it's delayed. And yeah, you can if you if you have already full uh, layout like this, and you can add some style. Maybe hey, how about we change the font size to the pixel? Um, if you think that's good, it's um, it's nice uh, on the whole loop yeah it's cool on the for uh, this this if the, the, if the layout is for column like this it's cool uh, maybe it's it's too big let's uh, maybe 14 pixel or just one RAM. yeah if you think yeah this one six RAM is cool then you need to um, move the block to the move the uh, query loop element to the top uh, drag it so it can be the the main uh, element and just remove this and yeah if you if you see and then I'm sorry just disable the query loop and then yeah and something like this um, okay 
let's save it again and refresh okay now here the phone has changed yeah um, <coughs> this is the solution I found from it's not I found I just uh, see someone uh, work so I guess yeah I think I should copy it and use it on my own project yeah I think this is good if you have multiple query um, especially especially if you create a website something a news or a magazine that has a loss uh, a, a post loop or uh, uh, many post loop with us uh, maybe the same layout uh, you can uh, follow the way um, but if you have another way which has more sim simple more easier uh, you can um, share with uh, me and with the other people who watch this video so um thanks for watching uh, happy coding yeah happy weekend of course and see you on the next video bye bye